everybody likes bread. Well, at least almost everybody. My bread lovers, tell me, what does an ideal loaf of bread look like to you and how does it feel? It should be brown, right? Not burnt at all, just the right shade of brown. It should also be soft, soft enough that you can press it in and it will bounce right back. What about the mesmerizing smell of fresh bread out of the oven? Doesn't it just make you hungry and eager to have some? That's an ideal loaf of bread. Now imagine I gave you a loaf of bread that is hard, so hard that you can barely press it down. This loaf also has a red color, some part of it are green and the others yellowish. Imagine this bread also had a foul smell that you had to be turning away from the bread on smelling it. We could refer to this as a deviation from an ideal or normal loaf of bread. The same thing applies to the disease condition in animals. A disease condition in animals means any condition in which there is a deviation from the normal state of health, just like the bad bread was very different from how a normal loaf of bread should be. You can also define a livestock disease as an interference in the bodily processes of an animal which makes its body not to function in the normal way. This means that the animal can either not perform its normal functions like milk production, egg or wool production, or it, or it performs less than expected. It's also important for you to know that livestock diseases can be grouped into five main classes according to their causes. These classes are viral diseases, bacterial diseases, fungal diseases, proctosoan diseases, and malnutrition or metabolic disorders. In subsequent lessons, we'll be doing an in-depth study on each of these classes. See you then.